ever heard of the H5N1 virus? If not, it's about time you do. H5N1, also known as bird flu, is a type of influenza virus that primarily infects birds. But don't be fooled by its avian associations. This virus is a master of adaptation that can infect a wide range of mammals, including us humans. Yes, that's right. H5N1 is not just a bird problem. It's a global concern. You see, this virus has already made its presence known worldwide. From the poultry facilities in Michigan to egg producers in Texas, and even as far as dairy cows, H5N1 is not shy about crossing species boundaries. Even more alarmingly, there have been documented cases of humans contracting the virus from mammals. This just goes to show that H5N1 is not a virus we can afford to ignore. But what really sets this virus apart? What makes experts around the globe so concerned? Well, it's the virus's fatality rate. According to World Health Organization data, since 2003, more than half of the patients infected with the H5N1 virus have died. That's right, more than 50%. Now compare this to the current fatality rate for COVID-19, which stands at a mere 0.1%. It's clear to see why experts are sounding the alarm bells. However, let's not forget that knowledge is power. By understanding the nature and potential of this virus, we can better prepare and protect ourselves and our communities. It's important to remember that the virus spreads through direct contact with infected birds or their droppings, as well as through contaminated surfaces or settings. The symptoms of H5N1 in humans can include fever, cough, sore throat, pneumonia and in severe cases acute respiratory distress syndrome. So being mindful of these signs and adopting necessary precautions can go a long way in keeping us safe. So you might be wondering what makes H5N1 so deadly? Well let's dig deeper. H5N1 is no ordinary flu virus, it's a silent killer. This highly potent strain of avian flu, H5N1, is not to be taken lightly. It has the potential to infect a wide range of mammals, including us humans. It's not confined to a particular corner of the world either. The virus is globally present, silently seeping into a range of mammals. The World Health Organization, or WHO, has been closely monitoring this virus, and their data paints a rather grim picture. Since 2003, they've found that out of every 100 patients infected with the H5N1 virus, 52 have succumbed to it. That's a fatality rate of over 50%. To put this into perspective, consider the COVID-19 virus. The current fatality rate for COVID-19 is 0.1%, a significant drop from its initial rate of 20% at the onset of the pandemic. When you compare these figures, the severity of the H5N1 virus becomes starkly apparent. Recent reports have only added to the growing concern. Outbreaks of avian flu have been reported in a poultry facility in Michigan and an egg producer in Texas signalling the virus's reach into our food supply. Even more worrying are the reports of dairy cows contracting bird flu. This is particularly troubling as it shows the virus's ability to jump between species, making the possibility of a human contracting the virus from a mammal not a matter of if, but when. In fact, the first documented case of a human getting the virus from a mammal has already been recorded. We are facing a silent killer that has a high fatality rate and the ability to jump species. It's not confined to birds or to a particular region. It's a global threat and it's already here. It's infecting a range of mammals and has the potential to cause a global pandemic. With such a high fatality rate and the ability to jump species, H5N1 is a ticking time bomb. So how does this virus affect us and what can we do about it? The H5N1 flu virus is a stealthy infiltrator. It can infect a wide range of mammals, including US humans, and is already making its mark globally. Most commonly, the virus spreads through direct contact with infected birds or their droppings, as well as contaminated surfaces or settings. But it's not just about chickens and ducks anymore. Reports have surfaced of dairy cows contracting bird flu, marking a new and concerning development in the virus's transmission. In fact, we are now seeing the first documented case of a human contracting the virus from a mammal. The impact on humans is severe. 
those infected can develop acute respiratory distress syndrome or AARDS, a life-threatening lung condition. Other symptoms include fever, cough, sore throat and pneumonia. The World Health Organization data paints a grim picture with more than 50% of H5N1 patients dying since 2003. That's more than half of the infected population, a stark contrast to the current 0.1% fatality rate of COVID-19. But it's not all doom and gloom. There are ways we can protect ourselves and our communities from this potential threat. Firstly, it's crucial to avoid direct contact with birds and their droppings, especially in areas with reported cases of the virus. Regularly cleaning and disinfecting surfaces can also help prevent the spread. It's also important to report any outbreaks or suspicious bird deaths to local health authorities and to follow their advice and guidelines. Most importantly, however, we must stay vigilant and prepared. The threat of H5N1 is real and imminent, but it's not an undefeatable foe. With the right information and preventive measures, we can keep it at bay. Now more than ever, we need to be aware and cautious. The battle against the H5N1 virus is a collective effort and every single one of us plays a vital role in it. The threat of H5N1 is real and imminent, but with awareness and precaution, we can keep it at bay. In the face of a potential H5N1 pandemic, knowledge is our greatest weapon. As we've learned, the H5N1 bird flu is not just another virus, it's a global threat with the potential to infect a wide range of mammals, including us humans, the World Health Organization's data paints a stark picture revealing that over half of those infected since 2003, sadly, did not survive. This fatality rate greatly surpasses that of COVID-19, making the H5N1 a formidable adversary. Yet, we're not powerless. We can take precautions. We can avoid direct contact with infected birds or their droppings and stay mindful of contaminated surfaces or environments. Recognizing symptoms like acute respiratory distress syndrome, fever, cough, sore throat and pneumonia can lead to early detection and treatment. Stay informed, stay cautious and stay safe. The battle against H5N1 begins with awareness.